cafe anyway hello it's mike how are you today it's mike's daddy podcast that's because you know it is the name of the show and it's mike matthews at cafe anyway somewhere in podcastro valley the last place on earth mike's daily podcast F- F- episode 2836 2836 and these are the kind of podcasts that come from the sticks and it's mike matthews singing to you from the last place on earth what else am i gonna do it's fun being here with you and also mike's daily podcast getting these entertaining little emails that i get from certain podcast platforms and mike's this particular one daily spreaker Podcast. That's like speaker with an R. Yeah. They're more like reeker. They really reek these days because, well, I've I've used them as a platform for over 10 years now. And this podcast is way over 10 years old, as you can tell. Way over 2,836, a lot of FF episodes. And they sent me this little email. On Friday. Hi there. We wanted to reach out and inform you that we have received a report indicating that your episode, the one that was called Mornings, that was the one that came out on Friday, has been removed for the following reason, colon, and then in red down below, because, you know, it's one of those emails where no one actually types it. It just pulls it pulls the information and fills the blank and uses that code to do that. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but it says the reason is music content is not allowed per terms of service. Music content is not allowed per our terms of service. So they do not allow any music at all, like the music playing behind me now. On any of their podcasts Are they insane? So every And here's today's podcast picture Every podcast is just gonna be dry? It's just gonna have people talking And it's like the the, What is it like? It's like a speech I guess they wanna just play speeches On their podcast Which Trump's been doing a lot of those lately Try and explain away how he's innocent And that's going to be... So it says, We kindly remind you to review Spreaker's Terms of Service, which outline the rules and regulations regarding the use of music on our platform. Thank you for understanding and cooperating in this manner. Oh, yeah, and the podcast picture is this guy right here, the late, great Basil the Boxer. This is from five years ago. And one of the things I noticed as I was trying to find a picture of him is I have so many pictures. It made me very happy to say... This to find this out To find this truth out And it is I have so many pictures Of Basil the Boxer And all through his life I can go back and And enjoy All the fun times that we had So that makes me happy And hope I don't lose any of those Now what am I I'm not going to delete my account with Spreaker Even though I emailed them back and threatened to do so I am going to stop uploading to Spreaker But there's so many ways you can find this podcast And all those ways you can find it Mike'sDailyPodcast.com As well as the podcast picture Let's see it says uh, All trademarks Trade names Are okay to use Another That's right Lake Great Basil the Boxer So photogenic And I just Let's see I'm not one of these people If I If I was one of these people I would have just Not done anything In radio Which I have a 35 plus year Career in radio Almost 40 year Career in radio And I would not have done that Instead I would have just gone into law If I could scan much better with my eyes But it basically says The use of intellectual technology 
uh, I'm sure music is under there somewhere. You may not and agree that you will not reproduce, download, license, publish, and enter into a database, display, modify, create. Da 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 verbs, verbs and verbs and more verbs on another computer related environment. Mike's Matthewsman Park. Front panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all times. It's up and down, is what this podcast is. It's a Matthewsman Park. Anyway, it said basically you can't use anything. Oh, photographs. So I don't know if they just ran some script on their database and found that, hey, Mike has music behind his podcast and decided to take down. And it only started on Friday. Every podcast before that they were fine with, but that one. And it was just the same as any other podcast. It did not have any other, like I didn't throw a Madonna song on there or Billy Joel or... Taylor Swift or anything It was just my song The Mike Staley podcast song And they They took it down Just totally deleted it So It's crazy Cruising Cruising together Luxury cruises Are riding the foodie wave Dining even on luxury cruises Used to be The midnight buffets Where you could eat as much as you want Now there's a new trend in foodie cruises Foodie That term got coined About 10 years ago And I used to think Oh foodie that's cool And then I started meeting all these young people That blew all the money they made With their rich jobs Where they were making all this money from Cisco And Google in the Bay Area All the tech firms Throwing all this cash at them And they just blew it on restaurants Never ate at home Always had to be top line food And then And they called themselves foodies And it drove me nuts And the Yelp thing And there were these Yelp Professional Yelpers That would go around And eat restaurants And do their review And Yelp would pay them Because they were young and beautiful And had expendable income Yeah Foodies Don't like them anymore Think of it as Local authentic dishes Combined with foodie field trips As we go outside a cafe anyway Where are we bringing Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth In the land of Ameritopica And I think I just offended All the people inside cafe anyway Because I think there were A bunch of foodies in there But this is not Michelin starred Anyway Cuisine It's more rewarding To stop at a hole in the wall with a local who needs a translator to explain what they're about to eat. It costs $4,000 per person. It can cost almost up to $8,000 per person. The luxury cruise market carried an estimated 1 million guests last year. And pre-pandemic, it was up. It was up from over 600000 There were only 600,000 in 2019 Last year 1 million people on cruises And I think back Mike's out of left field recordings Recording everything Captures actions that will never again be repeated I know this is kind of out of left field But I knew somebody I worked with Who during COVID Oh my gosh he was so paranoid He was so it, It scarred him not the disease itself, but just, oh, I might catch it. Oh, my gosh. He'd watch all the news, read all the news, listen to all the news. And he just got into such a paranoid, anxious state. He wore one of those welder helmet uh, masks everywhere he went. Dude, it, he, he, worked, he worked at a place where there was nobody ever in there. there were, it, it wasn't a medical facility. And he was so paranoid But he said "Ah, I hear uh, the thing to do now Is to invest in Cruise lines Because even though there's no cruise ships going out right now At some point it's going to come back And if I can buy the stock when it's super low And hold on to it till it goes And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program With Mike Matthews Through the roof I'll be super rich So maybe he is super rich from that I don't know But in the end do you want to live a life completely paranoid? That's what I'm asking. But no more celebrity chefs in Naples. 
You would visit the best pizza shop in the world in Crete. You'd have pork and rabbit cooked in clay pots on open fires. In Alaska, you'd get the Salmon Sisters, also known as the Alaska Salmon. They know Alaska Salmon better than anyone. The Salmon Sisters? Huh. So, this is what these luxury cruises provide. Let's see. Oh, NCAA is going to pay their athletes directly. Uh, NCAA, its five biggest conferences agreed last week to an antitrust settlement that would allow colleges to pay directly. They could get, athletes could get up to one and a half billion dollars a year under the new model. Universities would be allowed to share up to 22% of their sports revenue with athletes as early as next year. And pro league revenue splits are about 50-50. That from Rob Black. I produce his podcast. He is on AM 1220 KDOW weekday mornings. In fact, I got to produce his, his live show on Monday morning. Looking forward to that next week. And then also, there is the wonderful thing he does on television, on Cron TV, Monday through Thursday in the 9 o'clock hour. And it turns out, That Memorial Day was the busiest day in U.S. aviation history As almost 3 million people started this summer Mr. President, are you suggesting President Biden's using cocaine? I don't know what he's using, but that was not Hey, he was higher than a kite And and by the way, it was the worst It was the worst address I've ever seen State of the nation I'll tell you, State of the Union That's not State of the Union Because he doesn't represent us properly That I can tell you Well, what I can tell you is, yes, that guy there was convicted. And yes, this all started because of some news article in the Wall Street Journal about how, hey, there are these women, these very uh, attractive, like celebrity type, low, low grade celebrity type women that may have had things going on with Trump and, oh, uh, a, a handler of Trump's, a fixer. I find that fascinating. Michael Cohen, known as a fixer, that was his job. And I think back to Pulp Fiction and the Harvey Keitel character after John Travolta accidentally shoots the guy in the head and messes, makes a big mess in the back of the car and all that. It's disgusting. But yes, they talk about coffee. Yes, that whole thing. That's what I think of when I think of a fixer. And that's what Michael Cohen is. And so all of this craziness came out of... A the fascinating material project. project. The FM project. The FM project. The FM project. Came out of all of that craziness, fascinating material, and then the covering it up, which makes me think of Clinton, who was on the other side. He wasn't a Republican; he was a Democrat, and he tried to hide something, and said, "I did not bleep, 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 bleep that woman." With that woman However You know how it went If you were alive in the 90s So yes It's interesting The shoe's on the other foot And to hear Well A fine article Call 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 You silly great fat article Article It's a really fun fat article To look at and to read And to see How all of this trying to hide something Is what has gotten Trump into trouble it's not the fact it was in New York and New Yorkers never vote for Trump. Da 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 da. Oh, there were a lot of people that showed up at the Puerto Rican, uh, Puerto Rican, the the Bronx. <laughs> a lot of Puerto Ricans in the Bronx. I can tell you because my lovely lady friends' families from there. But yes, it's just why it it just goes to show. And I hate to say both sides do it, but there you go. There's Clinton who was lying. You got Trump that was lying. And then that gets them into trouble. Any politicians. How do you know a politician's lying? Because they're moving their mouth. They're moving their lips. Their lips are moving. That's the joke. That's the punchline. It's just, wow. Thank you. (laughs) You know, I just go nuts when I hear the conservative talk show hosts trying to defend Trump. And then going, that same person in the 90s. 
when Clinton was getting impeached, were saying the exact opposite. The shoe is on the other foot. It's amazing. If you've been alive in the 90s and you're obviously you're alive now because you're listening to this, you're going, what? Huh? It's they were holier than thou back then, and now they're not. <laughs> now the, the the liberals are holier than thou, and then they get yelled at by the conservatives that they're being holier than thou. Oh my gosh! Well, we love you, Mike. I just I I I don't want to get any further into it. That's because that's all I got really. Anything, everybody, you've heard the rest of it over and over and over again a zillion times if you listen to that type of radio or watch that type of TV. But Chipotle customers are roasting the chain for its portion sizes. TikTokers are filming their orders. <laughs> yes. The hope is to try and get more food because the portion sizes have shrunk. And then. Oh, May, by the way, back to the busiest travel day of the year in aviation history. Uh, That was actually Friday before the Memorial Day weekend. May included five of the busiest 10 days in history. May of this year. So we have really bounced back from COVID to higher levels than pre-COVID 1999. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Wang, a centibillionaire, $100 billion. Woo! Uh, it is, that's a billionaire as the art, a centibillionaire. Uh, the artificial intelligence technology architect closes in on Apple to become the second most valuable company in the world. And YouTube's free games catalog playables rolls out to all users on YouTube's homepage, and the 75 games kombucha. will generate kombucha and revenue via ads. And let's see, there's Angry Birds Showdown, Cut the Rope, Tomb of the Mask, and Trivia Crack, among others. Outside a cafe, anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Look who is here! Oh my gosh! I'm so... I don't know who's here. I'm looking around. Everyone's left. You see, that's when you get a little political. Everybody leaves. They just walk away. And, oh, here they are. Hello, Michael Masters. Michael Wooderbaker. All of that was very interesting. Ooh. Do you love YouTube? Yes. Do you love Chipotle? Yes. Do you like small portion sizes? Small portion sizes? No. You want to be you want the portion sizes to be magnificated. Yes. Oh no. Do I have to ask you another question? Yes. Should I stop now? No. Oh no. Madam Ridabega, do you like to dance? Yes. Do you like David Bowie? Yes. Do you like John Cougar Mellencamp? No. Oh, okay. That's too bad. John Mellencamp had some good stuff. I have several of his albums. And not just, I need a lover. You will travel into the incredible universe. Won't drive me crazy. What about, oh, uh, let's see, the one. The one. I'm on my way. I'm not gonna say, da, da, no more. Something like that. There was a song he did. This is your life. This is your life is now. Your yeah, boy. That's I can't think of the really obscure John Mellencamp songs at the moment. But hey, they weren't that obscure. He made music videos to those songs. Okay, where, 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 where are we? Oh, look who else is here. Oh, they might be cutting corners, corner, corner. The Cutting Corners Corner! This is Valentino, the banking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do it! Mike, we hear that you're cutting corners day. Yeah, this is the Cutting Corners Corner. Do you know that? Yes. If you want to buy my book for free, the book called Podcasting, What Is It Good For? Absolutely Nothing. You can go to my website, MikeStillyPodcast.com. And that's the end of the show. Lovely lady friend, I'm wrapping up the show. Okay, next show we'll hear from 
Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, John Deere the Engineer, and you can call me at this number. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. Hey, kids. It's me. Do re me the clown. And with all things Mike's Daily Podcast, why you can go here, over here, right there, and there to mikesdailypodcast.com with all that info. It's A-Frame from the Mayframe mainframe. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.